Huh, kind of amazes me. Every single class period, I always come back and all my markers mysteriously are always taken. I really kind of wonder what happens every single time because I'm always losing my markers. So anyways, um, I guess let's multiply this binomial while I start to get upset inside and wonder where do my markers go every time. Uh, okay, um, so what I have here, don't want to cover that up, that's so you guys can hear. All right, what I have here is I have a binomial and it has some uh, square root of negative numbers. So that form means I'm going to have to deal with uh, some complex numbers at the end. Now, previously I showed you a problem very similar to this and I used uh, the square method to multiply binomials. You can also use what we call the FOIL method. Remember, FOIL represents the first. Then we talk about our outer terms. That's not your outer. These are your outer, your inner, and then the last, last terms over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. When we're multiplying this out, remember, you're doing distributive property. First times first, out times out. Inner times inner, last times last. So really, it's just a way to kind of do distributive property easily that we can remember. So let's do our first two terms. We have 3 times 7. That's pretty good. I like that. Outer terms. It's going to be 3 times negative square root of negative 10. Inner terms. We have square root of negative 5 times 7. And then we have the last, which is going to be the square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 10. Okay, so first, that's pretty easy. Let's write that, right? So that's going to be 21. I'm actually now going to do them horizontally so you can see what it looks like. Outer is going to be 3 times the negative square root of 10 is going to be a negative 3 square root of negative 10. Uh, inner is going to, so that's the outer. Inner is going to be 7 times the square root of negative 5. So that's going to be plus 7 times the square root of negative 5. That's what we call the inner. And last one is we have last, which would be the square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 10. Uh, which, see, we could have is going to be, um, if you remember when we did this, I don't want to show you that. I don't want to go through it that way. What we'll do is remember, we can represent this as square root of 5i times square root of 10i, right? So you can pull out the i. Therefore, then we have square root of 50i squared, which is a negative square root of 50. So I have minus square root of 50. Because i squared, remember, is negative 1, so we get the negative. So now, let's just see if we can simplify this. Well, 21. Can't simplify that. I can't simplify the square root of negative 10, nor can I throw, actually, I'm sorry. I can square root the negative 10. I can rewrite that as 21 minus 3 square root of 10. And instead of, um, we can, instead of squaring the negative 10, I can write that as i plus 7 square root of 5 i. And then the square root of 50, we can re-represent that as minus 2 uh, Sorry, 5 radical 2. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, none of my terms are like terms, so we can't combine them. But I will leave it as this long answer uh, there for my solution. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed.